already know what it is. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today. Do you, uh, uh, you want to get it that way? Yes. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, sure. So, you know, March 8th, do you know Muhammad was a member of the Black Panthers? Yeah. Well, he, I, I, uh, I was nominated for an Emmy this past year for a film I did. And uh, Muhammad's film, he did uh, uh, Black Panther, Vanguard of Revolution. They won an Image Award, got nominated for an Emmy. And so that film just did, in, did incredible numbers. So. So, so if you ever need production work, <laughs> I may be the guy. But anyway. March 18th, yeah. you finally have, and what the boxing public say is a credible opinion. No disrespect. Can you talk about how that fight has happened and how you have the magic to work with Al Heyman? And it's, it's been tough for other. You know, promoters. the way I look at it is uh, I try to work with everyone. I've always had a good relationship with, with Al. Um, you know, throughout the whole negotiation process, sometimes it took a little bit longer than some people wanted. You know, the fans wanted to see this fight as soon as possible, but there was never ever, ever, there was never any hesitation, either from Danny's side or, or from Al's side, as far as whether the fight was going to happen. It was just under, you know, the right uh, circumstances, and so we put that together, and, and now it's here, March 18th. You know, when you have the best, the two best fighters in their division fighting each other, the best fighting the best. There's no question as to then the winner being the best middleweight champion in the world. Now you'll be at 160, obviously, and we obviously talk about the dream matchup. Is that preempted? Is that the magic happening in September? Do you guys have to fight at the Kazakhstan uh, thing in June? Um, or there's, uh, they, they want Gennady to fight in Kazakhstan at the World Expo, but uh, everything is focused on this fight here. If he doesn't win this fight, then all the plans are, are different. So uh, nobody's overlooking Danny Jacobs. Uh, look, Danny is one of the biggest punchers in the sport of boxing. Whenever you can, uh, you know, stop uh, a quality undefeated uh, champion like Peter Quillen in one round, I mean, that's a huge statement. And, um, and Gennady is a big puncher as well, so that's why I think the fans have reacted to to this fight as far as uh, not only Danny's, Danny's punching power, but his visibility and the, the, the following that he's built up. Combining that with what uh, Gennady has established, it's a, it's a great combination. Now, Shaka Tito's on the undercard. Congratulations again. Now, do you it's not easy <laughs> continuing to pair yeah. Chuck Tito yeah, it's, it's, and, it's hard. and uh, yeah, hard. Gennady and, and uh, you know, a great matchup with Danny. Let me ask you this. Do you think he deserves a number one pound for pound spot over an Andre Ward, in your humble opinion? Because I read the article yesterday, Dan Raphael, I'm not sure if you read it, did you read it? And he said the top two pound for pound guys. I mean, you you can give Gennady that's on the, 23 uh, knockouts in a row, 24 that, That's knockouts. on the, uh, yeah, the ESPN. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I mean, uh, the yeah. pound for pound ratings are always up for discussion. I think, uh, you know, the only knock on Andre is that, uh, uh, you know, he got the decision. A lot of people thought he might not have won it, but, you know, you got to give him uh, credit for, for winning the decision mm -hmm. on the judges' card. So I think that's the only hesitation that the people that thought Kovalev won that fight, maybe, you know, that, that affects his position. But uh, that's why I think this fight here, March 18th, there's not going to be any controversial decisions. They put <laughs> two guys with knockout streaks like that. Um, I think it's a safe bet to say it's not going to go to the 12th round. Now, is 168 in your future? Because Gennady Lefkin at 35 makes 160 quite easy. It looks like to me when he weighs in, he makes 160 quite easy. See, Danny's, Danny's physically a lot bigger than, uh, than Gennady. And uh, look, when he fought Kell Brook, Kell Brook consistently for every weigh-in <laughs> was weighing a lot more than, than Gennady was. And, and Kell's a welterweight. So, um, yeah, he, he makes uh, 160 easily. Um, so we'll just see what happens in the future. Depending what happens with uh, the fight on March 18th, uh, I think the winner of that fight is going to have uh, a lot of doors open because the worldwide exposure for this fight is, uh, is tremendous. So whoever comes out victorious as the number one middleweight or as the true middleweight world champion, then uh, the doors will be open. And my last question. Yeah. Uh, Canelo potentially stole Cesar Chavez Jr. from him. What do you say about that? Because <laughs> in my head, I would have thought that you would have got Chavez Jr. because of your market. We tried. Uh, we tried to make the fight with Chavez Jr. two years ago. You know there was uh, some issues there uh, on the top rank side, but look, you know all, all we can do is uh, take one fight at a time. Uh, this is clearly. Uh, the most dangerous fight of Gennady's career, but at the same time, you can say it's the most dangerous fight for Danny's career. So that, that's why um, the, the people sense uh, that there's no rematch clauses. It's uh, whoever wins March 18th, you know, has all the titles, and, and uh, that's that's what the drama uh, brings to this fight. 
Ellie. Ellie Segback. You are very busy, sir. You have a fight March 18. Yeah. Great Mine is at Miss Amanda Paris. Mine is PB underscore Miranda. Mine is A N N E L I S G J R. Emily. No one can spell it right. J R. <laughs> Mine is Ashley to me. And on the count Okay, now, y'all gotta do this together, okay? Okay. Y'all have to say, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching Barbershop Conversations, okay? Wait, Barbershop, Barbershop Conversations. Yep. Okay. Get in title, get in title. Okay, that's what she said. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Barbershop, Barbershop Conversations. Conversations. Thank you, guys. <laughs>